Hey, what's up guys? This is John from the Reaper blog. In this video, I want to show you stretch markers. I'm going to look at it on bass. So this bass guitar is not quite in time with the drums. Let's have a listen. It's pretty close, but there's definitely a few late notes and some that are right on the grid. We don't want to shift everything. We just want it to be tighter. The low end of your mix really counts on low end instruments to be hitting at the same time. Okay, so let's add in some stretch markers. Click where we want this first stretch marker to go. Let's go here and right click and there's stretch markers. And we can choose add stretch marker at current position. If we zoom in here, we can see this little line with a little handle that we can move. Uh, there's not a lot we can do with it yet. We need at least one more. So let's put in one here, and there was a shortcut, the letter U. So let's put in a couple more and start moving things around. Snap is off right now. So if we click and drag, it's going to warp this audio. You can think of it as adding pins to an elastic band. It can only stretch or contract between these pins. All right, so this one goes here and this one goes here. You can also turn snap on and, uh, and they'll just snap to the grid. We can also use quantizing to snap to the grid. And we can use mouse modifiers to add in the stretch markers. Mouse modifiers, media item bottom half with a left click, command click to add a stretch marker. Right here. So, just a matter of holding down command, clicking, and I can continue holding it down and then click wherever I want a stretch marker to go. And let's hit that quantize again and listen to this section. All right, so this one I don't quite like. This one's a little bit late. So I'm going to hold down Option and drag. So that's changing the audio within that stretched area. You can also notice that there are different colors on either side of the stretch marker handle, and that's showing that one side is contracted and one side is expanded. And you can hold down Shift to disable the Snap to Grid temporarily. That's a little bit better. Every item has options for time stretching. Uh, right now it's on Elastic 3 Pro Normal. That's my default. And you can try different algorithms. We can try the Soloist Monophonic. For very small timing changes, you might not notice a difference at all. For longer things like stretching out a note to double its length, that's where you start to hear the differences between the different algorithms. I also want to show you adding stretch markers with dynamic split. You can do it on these drums here. I don't like to do uh, stretch markers on drums. To me, it just doesn't sound good. So there are times when I do use them, but it's rarely to quantize. If you open up dynamic split, there is the replace stretch markers in selected items option and uh, replace stretch markers in selected items and add to grouped items. That's actually the setting we want. I have group off and I'm selecting just the kick. And when I hit split, it's going to add stretch markers on all the drum tracks at the same time. There. So we can turn our groups back on. And any change we make here is going to affect all the grouped tracks. That's it for this video. Just a real quick overview of stretch markers in Reaper. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked this video. Check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials, and I'll see you in the next video.